in previous part, we have seen detailed review of this amazing RFID module, RYRR10S. Manufactured by the Reax technology. We have seen its specifications, configuration guide, application interface, and we have also seen one amazing DIY project using this RFID module. In this part, we will see another version of that project. So, let's get started. Hello all. In previous part, we have seen one straightforward approach to unlock this two-level locking system. This method, in which all the valid RFIDs and their respective passcodes are saved into program itself. They have been manually placed. We cannot change them after we deployed the solution unless we program the system again with new code. Now suppose, what if we add functionality or feature in our existing project for registration of new RFIDs and users? Means the facility to add or delete the user database in real time. We have seen the flowchart of this method in previous part. Here, as we said earlier, we will use keypad as an HMI device to interact with the project means using keypad and lcd display user can set up the lock configuration like adding or enrolling new user rfid then we can also delete or reset all the data by just entering specific code using keypad so there will be three main program flows like first in which user enters his passcode to enter into second stage which will be rfid if he enters correct passcode, then he will be asked to place his RFID card on the reader. And if that card also valid and authorized, only then, lock will get unlocked. Other two codes or program flows will be for resetting the user data and adding enrolling new user. Here, UID of new user will be stored into EEPROM memory of Arduino, hence, even though power goes off, all the user data will be stored safely. Please note that user has to enter specific code to enter into these modes. Reset and the enroll modes. You can change these codes and their digits or characters in the main program. The circuit diagram for this version of project will be same as of previous version of the project explained in previous video part. Therefore, for this implementation, all assembly will be same as previous part. Now, let's take a look at the programming. So, most of the code and functions will same as previous ones, except the additional features like user data enroll function and reset data function. Let me show you. Here is the enroll tag function. This function is for enrolling or registering new RFID tags into e -square prom memory of Arduino. This validate tag function is for verifying whether the placed RFID card is registered or not. Means, is it present in EEPROM or not? Next, the compare code function. This is the function which checks the entered key code and decides the mode of operation. Means, HMI functions like authentication, new user enrollment, and resetting the user database. So, these codes are predefined. Let me show you where you can change these. For that, go above in Global Declaration section. Here, you can see, these are the three codes. You can change them as per your choice. OK, let's see another important function, Monitor Wipe button. This function checks for reset button is pressed or not. Please note that the reset button only works after entering the reset code. Otherwise, if you press this button, nothing will happen. This button is just for confirming the reset process or canceling it. Means, if you do not press reset button after entering the reset code, reset process will get canceled. OK, then next, clear record function is the main function of reset which deletes all the RFID data from eSquare prom memory. 
then finally in the main loop, we will continuously look for any code is pressed or not. And, as per the code pressed, their respective cases, means, authentication, enrollment, or, reset, will be called automatically. So, like first project version. In this code also, we have added with detailed comments for each section of the program to easily understand for what purpose that code snippet is used there. Therefore, you can understand what's going on with these functions and variables. Beside, if you do not understand any part, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp, we would love to help. We will share all the data of these projects, like codes, schematics, documentation, on GitHub. Link will be given in the video description. Okay, now let's see the actual demonstration of this version. We have assembled all the components as per circuit diagram, which we discussed earlier. Just wish he knew. Okay, it is showing invalid card because we have not yet registered any RFID cards into the system. So, let's register this user 1's RFID card. It will get registered in E square prom memory of an Arduino. Let's do that. For that, enter code for registration or enrollment. LCD will prompt us about the mode selection and then instruct us to place new RFID card on the reader for registration. Let's place this user 1's card on the reader. OK, blue LED is showing card is getting red and saved into Arduino memory. OK, now card is enrolled and this new user has been added into the system. OK, now let's check again for unlocking the lock with recently added user data. For that, enter the unlocking code again. Code is valid. Now let's place this newly added card on the reader. And check what happens. Vala, access granted. Lock is unlocked. Card is now valid and authorized. But these cards are still not registered into the system. We can register any of these cards into the system with same way as we did earlier. Just wish he knew. Please note that if we enter invalid code, then system will deny us access. Let's enter random code. Yes, you can see. Access is denied. So, only valid codes are allowed, which we have defined in the programming. Okay. Now let's see the reset process. So, we have registered these three RFID cards for respective users. Let's reset that whole data. For that, enter reset code. This process will delete all registered cards from E square prom memory of Arduino. To confirm the reset, you have to press the red reset button for three seconds. Okay, now LCD is showing, data reset process is completed successfully. Now, if you use any RFID cards, lock will not open until you register them again.
just follow along, you will understand the implementation and working. For example, when you enter code for unlocking the lock. In next step, it will ask you for the RFID card, then, if you placed your RFID card on the reader, if that card is valid and registered, only then, lock will get unlocked. If one of these unlocking layer get fails, lock will not open. Similarly, if you enter code for enrollment, this lock system will ask you to put new RFID card on reader for registering. It reads it and save its unique UID in E Square Prom of Arduino. Okay, so, in this way, we have tested our YRR10S RFID module. And, we got very good results. Like, response time, and, ease of operation. We would highly recommend these modules due to its features like, NFC, RFID multi-protocol support, and, UARDER SPI optional interface facility. We will further test it for multi-protocol RFID cards. For that, in upcoming videos, we will try to make more DIY projects using this module, stay tuned with us. You can purchase these module directly from React's website, or, from Amazon. Links are shared in the description. Alright, stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at support at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.